video today. Today I'm going to be testing out this Nickelodeon scented slime kit. I've seen a lot of these go around everywhere. Some of them work, some of them don't, but the one that I've seen the most is the Nickelodeon Crazy Art Slime. So there were like a few different kinds, but like the scented one just intrigued me the most. I don't know why, I just... I want to know if it actually smells like strawberries and blueberries, if it actually smells good. So today I'm just going to be making and if it works, then reviewing it on how good the slime actually is. So before we get into this video, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, now I'm uploading every single Sunday, so make sure you subscribe so that you can see all my future videos. And let's just get right into the video. Okay, so now I'm over here at my desk. This is just what the packaging looks like. It does make ooey gooey fun. Ooh. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> so this was $10 from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, let's just get right into it. Don't need this anymore. It comes with two plastic bowls. This little measuring cup reminds me of medicine. Two plastic containers. Tiny green little spoon, it's so cute. Three popsicle sticks, I'm assuming they're for mixing. Slime activator, and two bottles of clear glue. Clear slime glue. And then it also comes with the instructions. So I've seen a lot of people where they just make, like use the glue and make the slime like regularly with activator. Um, and then I've seen people actually, like, follow the directions. So I'm going to, like, actually legitimate follow the directions. I'm assuming it's not going to be too different from regular slime making. So I'm going to be following step by step this baby. Let's see if I can be as happy as these kids. The first direction is measure 15 milliliters of clear glue using the supplied measuring cup and pour into a bowl. Scrape down the walls of the cup to get as much of the clear glue out as possible. 15 mill milliliters is not a lot of slime, so we're going to pour it up to right there. There's a safety seal. I'm going to do this above camera because I can barely see where 15 milliliters is because it won't. Focus. So here I have 15 milliliters of glue. I'm going to pour this and scrape down the walls. Specifically, as it says in the instructions. Okay, I think I got as much as I can get. The next instruction. Measure 25 milliliters of water. Pour into same bowl as the glue. Yeah, I'm going to go get 25 milliliters of water with this cup thingy. Okay, so I have 25 milliliters. So next it says, if you're going to scent it, then to scent it now. It says grab a whole spoonful. So I'm going to do blueberry just because it comes with more blueberry. So I'm going to do a whole spoonful. What does it smell like? <laughs> Okay, that does not smell good. It smells like if there were to be a blueberry medicine, that's what it smells like. Next, it says stir the mixture of glue, water, and additive with slime stick until fully blended. Okay, well, I'm doing the spoon, so. Whee! I'm going to get, get this off my fingers. So I'm going to follow the directions. Should have done that. I'm just going to get one of the slime stinks. Next, it says this is a long thing. Okay, measure five milliliters of slime activator solution and slowly pour into the slime, into the bowl with glue while stirring with the slime stick. Always use the slime stick to stir, do not use your hands. You'll see the liquid mixture get thicker. Continue stirring at the solution is absorbed and gels up. Why can't we use our hands? Aren't we just gonna be playing with it anyways? So I have a slime activator what it looks like. Safety seal. And I'm also going to do this above camera because I cannot physically see. So I have five milliliters and I'm just going to do what it says. Mmm, so slimy. Oh, 
Okay. I'm very confused. It does stretch pretty well. It really does remind me of that Mad Labs silly sludge stuff that I got. If you guys haven't seen that video, go check it out. It almost doesn't feel like it's going to stretch either, which it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. So this is the final slime. It doesn't really poke. It is super sticky, and I keep on adding a bunch of activator, and like it's still sticky. It is pretty stretchy. The smell is pretty faint. The blueberry one does not smell good. It's like a mix of grape and cherry medicine. I would rate this slime a four. Maybe, maybe, maybe four and a half. Okay, so I don't really know what happened to the footage, but basically I was just trying out the glue to see how well it made a regular slime, so that's what I'm doing in this video. Just to let you guys know. Now I'm going to try it with the pink coloring, see how this smells. Mmm, 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 mmm. It smells like some of that lip gloss that you would get in those little like pinky lip gloss rings as a child, or like those lip gloss phones. I'm gonna take some with the stick, you know. Oh, this is thick, clear glue. This is like a super hot, vibrant pink, though. I like it. Now I'm going to take the activator and just do a few drops. I also want to see how well this clears up. Maybe I'll see how long this takes to clear up, and I'll let you guys know. I'm going to go in with my hands. Ah, uh, so stringy. So this is the slime that I made. But this is what I came up with. So I'm not going to read this one just because this is the slime that I made, you know. I mean, obviously it just needs regular glue and um, the activator. It's not like that much different from any other slime. Um, I am going to let these sit to see if they clear up at all. I'm not sure if they will. Who knows? But, um, yeah. Okay, so this is one day after I made the slimes. Here is the pink one. That is how clear the pink one is. And this is the blue one. I think this is about how clear the blue one is going to get, just because there are no more bubbles in it. And then I also made a clear one to see how fast or if it would clear as you can see there's still a bunch of bubbles okay so this is day three i am almost positive that this one will not clear up you know it's been like three days and it doesn't look any clear here is the pink one this one also isn't going to clear but it will get a clear like texture instead of just being like super bubbly so there are still bubbles rising you can't really see and then we have the regular clear one so this one is actually kind of dirty there are still a lot of bubbles rising but it has cleared up quite a bit on the bottom okay so today is day six um this is the clear slime you can kind of see through the bottom. This is how much the pink one cleared. This one didn't clear really at all. Okay, so I would rate that slime kit probably a seven, maybe a seven and a half, just because it was pretty fun to make and it was fun to get all the little spoons and utensils and stuff like that. The only thing is that the smells 
did smell pretty weird. Okay, so thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Make sure you go check out all my socials in the description below and give this video a big thumbs up. Also, you should go check out my vlog channel. You know, it's super fun. <laughs> Once again, I upload my videos every single Sunday, so subscribe to see all the videos that I upload. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!